Welcome back, everyone. Right now is a great time to buy a house. In fact, they call it a buyer's market. All right, our two guests are going to tell us a little bit more about this. Shan Lassig is here along with Josh Metal. They are professional mortgage lenders. Glad you guys are here. We're going to be a little Letterman-esque here for a second and maybe do the top 10 list of questions that you both get asked, right, by potential buyers. Should we start with number 10? Can I borrow the money for a down payment if I'm buying right now? Josh, go ahead. Yeah, thanks for having us. So borrowing money for a down payment is all going to depend on the loan that you have. So the nice thing is if you've got a wide array of products to choose from, there is some options there, a 401k, other secured assets, a home, something like that, you actually can. You can also get gifts. So there's a lot of options out there, a lot more than most people think. Awesome. Okay, yeah. number nine, what is the difference between a short sale and a foreclosure? This is one of the hardest questions for a lot for most people because they think that they're the same and they're nowhere near the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A short sale is still owned by the homeowner and so you're dealing with a third party. You're dealing with the seller as well as the bank that's going to accept less than what's owed. So it's a very long process. As opposed to a foreclosure has already been taken back by the bank and so the bank has full autonomy to go ahead and sell that property. So that's a far better transaction and a lot easier. Oh, I yeah. didn't know the difference mm. between the two. Okay, number eight, do I still need a real estate agent? Absolutely. Really? You know, I think especially in this market where so many homes are bank owned or short sale mm -hmm. and the process is more complicated. Dealing with a bank is much more difficult than dealing with a neighbor when you're having a transaction. Also, our market is changing so rapidly. We've come out of a depreciating market. We're starting to see a pickup in prices. We're starting to see a pickup in area, uh, in number of sales in the area. And if you're not abreast of those changes and exactly what's going on in the market, you can be way off in offering too high or too low. So it, it really is an important time to have professional representation. Kind of a protection, I would think, on both parties. What about this? Do um, You just said, what was yours? I did number eight. Number eight. Number okay, number seven. Can I ask for the seller to pay, pay the closing costs? Absolutely, and that's the, that's the best part about the market that we're in right now, is because it's still a buyer's market, the sellers are really motivated to get that home sold. And so because of that, that's a great opportunity for the buyer to get a, a, a huge opportunity of, of those funds given to them that right. are paid at closing. Which an average co closing cost could be around how many thousands? It it's really depends on the purchase price of the home, mm -hmm. but it's around between 25 and 3% of that purchase price. So because that gets gifted to you by the, by the seller or given to you by the seller, it really changes the amount of money that you have to bring into closing, which makes almost everybody have the ability to buy a home. All right, number six, when should I lock in my interest rate? It's a great question. Depends on you and your particular situation. It also depends on your appetite for risk. So some clients like to like to go to Vegas and they like to gamble. <laughs> Here's the way I look at it: We're at the absolute lowest interest rates our country's seen in a hundred years. The chances are greater they're going to go up than go down. I'm locking. Yes, right, I quickly. bet you get asked that all the time. That's all probably the number one. Question. All right. Can I get a gift for the down payment and closing costs? And that's a fabulous question, and that's where a lot of people have that myth of I don't know if I can. FHA has, has allowed a gift by a family member to be given for 100% of, uh, of the down payment. That's nice. It's awesome. All right, is there 100% financing available? There is actually a lot of 100% financing programs that have come back. You know, when we came out of 2007 and half the banks in the country and lenders disappeared, the products that were available were very, very narrow. They've come back. We have VA, USDA, Utah Housing, gift funds. There's a lot of 100% financing options. That's changed a lot over the last 24 months. Lots of options. Okay, how long do I need to be at my job before I can buy a home? One of the best questions and where a lot of people that are renting today are worried, well, I just changed jobs. You only have to be on your job for 30 days. Oh, in wow. the same industry for two years, but uh -huh. only on your job for 30, 30 days. days. That is a huge, huge myth out in the marketplace. We're to number two. How long does it take to close a mortgage loan? Typical is going to be three to four weeks, uh, sometimes longer in the case of a short sale. I have a client right now that's been under contract for over 90 days just waiting for the bank to give them the final mm -hmm. approval. Typical okay, real quick, secondary. last one, number okay. one. What does my credit score need to be in order to get a loan? And that's the, the number one question in the marketplace, and it's 620. All the way down to a 620, and you can purchase a home, and that home can be 100% financed. Um, is 620 hard to get to? Or is that a doable for most people out there? Believe it or not, about half of the people that rent 
have a 620 score. Right, these are the guys to talk to, to help you. Hard. And they Thank are you. at uh, Citywide Home Loans. All the information right there on your screen, and we can put it on our website too at abc4.com and then click on Good Things Utah. But now's the time. Now's the time. What, what does Letterman do when he's done, like with the list? Throws it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks you so guys much. Thanks for having us. All right, we are in the kitchen with advice to simplify supper. Krista Numbers is here. We'll be right back.